Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have two cool news or you know, two cool assets, more like that. Yeah, stuff you can get from Blender Cloud for free. And the very first one is the rain character. This is the main character in the Coffee Run animation that was just recently released by Blender animation studio so there is a lot of talk hype and cool stuff that this character can do and it's very interesting to see that just a few hours ago this character is now available on the blender cloud and not just as a subscription thingy but it is available for free so if you want to use this you can actually get this one now just in case you haven't seen the animation i'm gonna put a link in the description where you can find it and of course you can also see that there is a very cool tease about it so first of all let's talk about the cloud the blender cloud is a place where you can find tremendous assets tremendous cool tutorials and also some very reasonable resources now this cloud by default is based on subscription so you can either subscribe monthly yearly or quarterly so depending on what you want you can simply you know subscribe within this time now this subscription would give you access to several tools several things several resources but then they also have some very free awesome stuff that you can get now the very first time when the rain character was available the rain character was only available for the blender cloud subscriber so if you're a blender cloud subscriber you'll be able to get this one but it's very interesting to see that the rain version 2 character is now here now this version 2 character comes with a couple of things first of all we have the ik we have the layered face control we have the eye target you know parenting switching we have the ik fk toggle cool stuff so if you want to read more about this thing i'm going to put a link in the description for you to check this out now this beautiful stuff was also teased showcased and there is a very quick you know uh, overview of what this character can do and the meter has actually created this one which might be playing sometime across the entire video so with this said let's actually download this rig and also play with it so that you guys can see what and what you would get once you proceed to downloading this with blender open once you open this file you would notice that this is exactly what you have so this is the rain character all right so once you go, simply you know go through you would see that you have your ik your fk thingy so depending on what you want to do let's simply just double click here right and we will be able to move this around you can also turn on this so you can move this cool so if i simply use the transform i can transform this and transform the hand however i want you can also choose to stretch this if this is what you want you can also have things like this happening very nice so if you look right here you notice you have cloud rig and from here you can choose to play with this and see how certain things can work there is a dummy eye so i can choose to set this to zero and you can see that goes out set this to one we have the eye dot and i can simply turn this on and let's actually go very close to this character so you can see that so whatever you want to do with this character it's totally free right now so you can also do that i can also set this to one let's simply clear that out and press one and you can see so pretty cool stuff depending on what you want you can start working with this model and start creating some very interesting looking animation by simply using this this right here doesn't have anything which is the hair the hair doesn't have anything that contributes to the rig so depending on what you want to do with it you can also proceed to doing that down here where we have the outfit there's a default outfit which is the only outfit that you have you can take out the ponytail or you can put the ponytail back let's see what it looks like take this out put this back cool the same thing goes for the scarf so you can take this out put this back so you can create some variations depending on what you want and on the other hand you also have your whole foot roll stuff all of that thingy you know all of these cool things that you want to have for your model when you have a rig model you have them right here pretty decent rig all right so while we're still playing with this if you still want to play with a ponytail for example or let's say you want to animate uh what we have here you can which is the scarf you can still have all of those features so if you go down here you can click on hair and automatically you're going to have the rig here which you can control on the other hand if you also click on clothes you'd also notice that we have some sort of joint chain that we can use to you know manipulate and play with this now for the face there is also a couple of features and stuff that you can play with 
and you can have access to them by simply clicking right here let's take off these ones so you can have access to them by simply clicking on face primary and you have the primary controllers that you need for your face and if you click on face secondary you have secondary controllers that you need for the face as well on the other hand if you want to also get subtle objects or subtle controls which you can use to uh, tweak your face you can also click on the face tweak and you would also notice they have some extra controls or controllers as it's called which you can use to make changes to this now all of these things are things that you can play with as if you go down to this part where you have a settings these settings would one way or the other influence what you can get with what you have right here so if you're looking forward to playing with this these are certain things to keep in mind if we jump over to the pose mode and i simply select this i can literally move the eye around and you can also notice that we have this which controls a huge part of the face so depending on what you want you can actually tweak this to your own liking and for sure you can also use this to make certain controls then this is very very lovely and it's an awesome rig oh one quick update before we move on there is this very tiny viewport display button that you might actually miss so if you click this down this deals with the colors that you get to see while working on your model so depending on the kind of color that you want to see in your viewport you can make those changes right here by simply clicking on reset it resets everything back to normal but you can make changes yourself so in case you want to change how the eyebrows look so you can dial this all the way up to get something like that if you want to change how the eyes look within the viewport you can also dial this all the way up and make some changes and these are viewport changes okay so these are viewport changes and you can always always reset them you can play with these and make certain changes while working directly on the viewport now let's take a look at the shading because i know some people would like to know what the shading thing looks like so real quick let's take a look at the shading so from here i'm just simply going to go all the way to where i have the shader editor and let's select what we have right here this wouldn't work because we're in the pose mode so let's dive over to object mode and now select this so from here you can easily see what the shading looks like so if you're also thinking about studying the shading for this character you can have access to doing that right now so i would simply just go around and show you and also once you download this it also comes with a set of uh, textures so if i simply drag this right here you would notice we have maps and underneath the maps these are the materials or should i call these are the textures that it comes with so these are the textures that it comes with so if you are trying to tweak them maybe you want to change some colors you want to tweak these textures you are totally you know in control of that one and you can simply use that to your own advantage so this is the rain character let's see what it looks like when you fire it up in cycles cool doesn't look bad at all and you can actually appreciate the whole model even more and this makes sense this really makes sense so i'm simply going to take a look at this with eevee so just in case you want to render this with eevee this is what it looks like it doesn't look bad at all looks pretty decent i mean for the most part if you want to render this with eevee let's take this out cool this looks nice if using the model is something that you're actually looking forward to or maybe trying to work with a character that is totally free is what you're also looking forward to of course you can find even way more characters directly on the blender cloud if you simply go over to the link which i've actually shared you can find a lot more characters here the vincent character is also a very cool character that you have so if you're also looking forward to playing with these characters you can get this once up and running so enough of this character let's talk about the next cool thing which i said i was going to share with you guys the next cool thing which i was going to share with you guys or which i am going to share with you guys is right now the guys of blender has actually released the blender 2.83 flat screen that, that is made by Ian Hobart and this is very cool now the time that this was made a lot of people asked if this is ever going to come out and you know how do we get it how do we play with it and yes so sometime last friday dalai actually made this available and if you want to see it you can simply go over to this link and download it and before you do let's explore what this looks like so once you download this it's called the party talk 6 zero zero am that is the name right here you would notice that this is a very cool looking stuff now by simply exploring these there are certain things that you will find first of all this runs via eevee 
which is nice so you can switch this to whatever but right now by default this is running from ev and with this said if you simply press zero on your keyboard you would notice that you have a very cool camera that is actually located somewhere so let's simply turn on all the bells and whistles so we can see what we have all the overlays yeah so the camera that is actually looking at this is right here and it's very cool to see how you know this has been made so most of the characters here are rigged but they are not animated so for example the dog right here is not rigged so you know don't think for a moment that this is animated it's not although you can also go in and animate this by yourself if we you jump over to pose mode you can select this part and you can simply press R on your keyboard and you can do all of that stuff and at the same time you also notice that you have some pretty cool models right here that are all rigged but not animated so if you're thinking about bringing this thing to life you now have the opportunity to doing that. So all of these are fantastic stuff. If you press zero one more time, you can see the camera actually fixes that and you can jump out of the camera and explore this beautiful stuff. So a lot of man hours seems to be put into all of this and there is a lot of uh, creative ideas that was also put into this and I appreciate these things a lot. So another thing which I would like to also show you guys is there is a tiny looking bar, which is more like a secret bar that uh, Ian or Ian has actually created here. So if I simply go, let's explore this part a bit. You can see we have that. So the bar is somewhere around here. So I'm just simply going to show you guys. Yeah. So there is a secret bar right here, which you can, you know, read for yourself. It says the secret bar. You found it. Only cool people find this. So if you download this, probably you're cool. So you must be cool nice to meet you this is my dad he lost his face in the war so this is one of some characters that are not rigged and most of the other ones are rigged like this one is rigged this is not rigged as well and this is just lovely so if you're trying to explore these things or you want to know how the shading for all of this was done or maybe you want to understand how the scene design was made you want to also take into account how some of these um you know smoke looking things were made because these look like they are smokes but if you simply select it it's just the plane that has textures applied to it you can download these and start getting cool with it so this is about it these are the files that are now available for you to download you either go through get this one from ian which is the party tog and you can play with it you could you know simply go ahead and animate all of these things make them come to life and put some spies in it on the other hand you can also go over to the blender cloud and get the character from coffee run so these are your cool stuff and you can choose to play with this and also get some exciting things happening for you and of course i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace